The next case is a congenital case, and the history is that this is a 22-year-old female with a mildly enlarged right ventricle noted on echocardiography, and it is suggested that the first three rows be evaluated prior to going further. So evaluation of the short axis images from base to apex confirms the suspected enlargement of the right ventricle. No apparent etiology is seen on initial evaluation, uh, specifically no evidence of tricuspid insufficiency or pulmonic insufficiency of a significant degree is seen. There may be a trace amount of tricuspid regurgitation noted on these four chamber images. Review of the axial haste images, which are dark blood sequence, indicate that predominantly normal cardiac anatomy is noted. On these images, it is difficult to be certain of the insertion of the pulmonary veins, and the bright blood images may be advantageous in demonstrating them. Note the dilatation of the inferior vena cava and the prominence of the right heart structures without evidence of an atrial septal defect on these images. No atrial septal defect was seen on detailed review of the four chamber images. On review of these images, there does appear to be an abnormal insertion of at least one of the pulmonary veins into the lateral margin of the superior vena cava, and clearly no pulmonary vein should enter into the superior vena cava. The next image was obtained in the coronal plane, in the plane of that abnormal vein that was seen, and demonstrates that right upper and right middle lobe pulmonary veins are seen to join the superior vena cava and drain into the right atrium, producing significant enlargement. This is an axial cine imaging, confirming again the blood flow streaming from the pulmonary vein into the superior vena cava. Subsequent imaging using a perfusion scan confirms that no pulmonary vein is seen inserting into the upper margin of the left uh, atrium on this image, although the right lower lobe pulmonary vein is seen, and in fact, abnormal insertion of the upper lobe pulmonary vein into the lateral margin of the superior vena cava is seen on these perfusion images, as one can see here. MR angiography was subsequently performed along with flow analysis through the pulmonary and aortic uh, arteries. These demonstrated a QP to QS ratio of 1.5 to 1, indicating a relatively mild to moderate shunt. A volume rendered image from the posterior margin of the left atrium indicates that the left lower and upper lobe pulmonary veins have a conjoined entrance, while the left lower lobe, the right lower lobe pulmonary vein inserts into the left atrium, but no right upper lobe pulmonary vein is seen to insert as it is inserting onto the superior vena cava as previously demonstrated. This is confirmed on the volume rendered images. Review of the diagnosis confirms that, in fact, anomalous, partial anomalous pulmonary venous return of the right middle and upper lobe pulmonary veins to the superior vena cava is indeed the diagnosis. Further reading is available in the references.